What's up guys, welcome back to another episode of Lowdown. There's a ton to talk about today, so let's jump right in. Now the first story of the day for you guys is that the NFL is set to review all players linked to a performance enhancing drug of HGH, human growth hormone, based on a report by Al Jazeera America, which is a American uh, news network. Now dates haven't been set yet for when they want to interview these players, although it will they did say it will be at the time of the NFL's choosing. Now this list of players includes Clay Matthews, Julius Peppers, Peyton Manning, and of course the most monitored player in the NFL for PEDs, James Harrison. Now obviously James Harrison wasn't happy about this, and like most people nowadays, he took to Instagram. First he posted up the letter he received from the NFL with the caption, When you say jump, I don't say how high, I ask why after that he also posted his letter uh, from the nfl players association on behalf of him basically asking if they actually have any credible evidence for this besides just the al jazeera america report and james harrison finally took to social media with his last post saying okay fine i will do this for you guys but it'll be on my terms i want it done before training camp at a day of my choosing it'll be done at my house and i want roger goodell present at this and yeah, it makes sense to me why they want to do this. If you look at these players, it's almost like they're timeless players. Uh, Peyton Manning came back after crazy neck surgeries. He finished in the NFL at the age of 39, 40. So that's pretty old to be playing in the NFL. Uh, if you look at Julius Peppers, he's 36 and he hasn't had a down year in a long time. Uh, same with James Harrison. James Harrison is 38 and he's still putting him work and he's getting better every single year. But although you do see on Instagram all the time how hard he works, and he's sponsored by All Max, so he posts a lot of stuff about them. Maybe that's where it's coming from. And Clay Matthews is only 30, but he's just a freaking beast. So, you know, I really hope all this doesn't just go down while I'm on vacation because I'd love to cover it as soon as it happens. But if it does, I'll definitely make sure to cover it when I get back. And the next story is that a financial advisor by the name of Ash Narayan. So like that, I'm just going to call him Mr. Bad Guy. Okay, so I'm calling him Mr. Bad Guy because he took $30.4 million from a ton of pro athletes in the MLB and um, most notably for us, Mark Sanchez, like one of the current quarterbacks of the Denver Broncos. He took their money, said he was putting it into a low risk investment and instead took it and put it into an already struggling online ticket business. Fortunately, all of assets have been frozen at this point. Now we don't know how much money, if any, uh, of these players that will get back who really knows at this point although he is set to be on trial soon you just gotta love though when your nfl quarterback is smart enough to run an nfl offense but is not smart enough to figure out a ponzi scheme and the next story is that wide receiver for the dallas cowboys des bryant is being sued by a state senator for the destruction of a rental home now what could he have physically done that would make them have to actually sue him did he steal some coasters break a lamp push some beds together make a super bed no. The home that he stayed in is requiring $60,000 worth of damages, including being littered with trash and feces. They also, they also said there's cracked blinds, cracked windows, cracked shutters, and the carpet is black somehow. I don't know what they did to make it black. I don't want to know, though. Now, the state is suing him for between one hundred dollars and $200,000. That'll cover the thick the $60,000 in current damage and the amount of lost revenue that they'll have from the time having to redo the entire home. Why can't these NFL guys just stay out of trouble? And the next story is that outside linebacker slash defensive end for the Redskins, Ryan Kerrigan, has donated 111 pairs of brand new Nike cleats to his former high school team, the Muncie Central High School. Now, based on the picture from Munch Muncie Central High School, it looks like they donated Untouchable Pro, Alpha Field General, and Force Lunar Beast Pro. Now, the Force Lunar Beasts are 125, uh, the Field General are 99, and the Untouchable Pro are 120. Based on their average price and 111 pairs, that's going to work out to about $12,700 in cleats before taxes, so get around that $13,000 range. And yeah, that seems like a lot, uh, again, but as I always like to put in perspective for you guys, based on his $11.5 million salary per year, uh, Ryan Kerrigan will make this in literally by noon in a day. So... Not crazy for him, but again, it is always good to see players give back. Although, comment down below, how many players are on a high school team in the States? We are struggling right now to field a 40-man roster in my town for my team. How is it that some of these high school teams in the States have 
plus players on their team. So comment down below. Let me know about that. And we got some quick stories for you guys today. The first one is Russell Wilson just unveiled his new uh, self-promoting logo, uh, Dangerous. And there's a, two reasons he's basically getting a lot of hate for this. The first one being uh, a lot of people saying the logo sucks. It's basically just kind of like an R. It's, I don't really care for it either way. Um, there hasn't been an actual picture of just the logo, just the one of him releasing it on his Twitter account. The other reason he's getting a lot of hate is people are saying, good job on joining all the other promoting st all the other products you have to promote on your Instagram which include for him I had no idea about he had to um, promote all these he on his Twitter he is paid to promote Alaska Airlines Microsoft Levi's Bose and the one that I heard a lot of news before about about this magical recovery water water that he promotes that probably doesn't do anything and I thought I was a sellout. And uh, another story, another quick story this week is JJ Watt has come out with his brand new first shoe. This shoe is called the JJ1 Training Shoe. It'll be available on July 15th. And it is going to cost $99. I think they look okay right now. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, training shoes are kind of like a little lower. It looks kind of high for me. But if JJ likes it, we'll see. And I might pick me up a pair, especially when they're only $99. And the last story this week is that if you're a Vikings fan, I hope you like the color purple because this picture just came out of their new stadium and their stadium is flooded completely with purple. So I hope you like it. Go check that out. And there was only one signee this week. Um, Houston Texans have signed former Notre Dame wide receiver Will Fuller to a four-year $10.5 million deal uh, with a fifth year extension option. And yeah, that's pretty much it this week. So I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of The Lowdown. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you really liked it though, please share it as it is a tremendous help to me. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe as I put out three videos every single week. You wanna contact me in any way, either check out my social media at Lyman Football or check out my contact form on my website, LymanFootball.com. Also, if you're digging the LF shirts and you wanna see how the back looks, it'll be one of the first links in the description down below. And as always, thanks.